What you see in the animation right now is created using Blender's Grace Pencil, Geometry Nose, and Damp Track Constraint. Let's briefly go through the workflow. First, hide the default cube and add a sphere object. Add a Grease Pencil object and draw a simple sketch. Apply a Shrink Ramp modifier to the Grease Pencil object and project it onto the sphere object. Select both the Grease Pencil object and the sphere object and press Ctrl P to apply a parent-child relationship. Now, when the sphere object moves, the Grease Pencil object moves with it. Add another Grease Pencil object and draw the character's body. To control the movement of the character's face using the cube that was hidden earlier, apply a damped track constraint. Now, when the cube moves, the character's face moves. Let's implement the cube's movement using Geometry Nose. Use the Noise modifier to create a simple random motion. Add a Transform Geometry node and connect the Noise Texture to the Translation Socket. If we connect the Scene Time node to the Noise Texture's Vector Socket, the random motion will be implemented. When we apply the Geometry nodes to an object and create animations within the node system, the object's origin doesn't actually move, so the previously applied constraints won't work. In this case, we need to use the script mentioned in the video description to make it work. In this way, we can control the character's movement through the movement of the geometry nodes.